All right. Welcome, everyone, to uh, f uh, Financial Financial Sense, a uh, monthly presentation put on by Penny Forward. Uh, my name is Byron Lee, and I am uh, filling in for Chris Peterson. He is away uh, at a conference, but uh, he will return uh, next month for the next Financial Sense. Um, tonight, we will be playing a, uh, a presentation conducted by Chris and myself about Fiverr, and that's spelled F-I-V-E-R-R, -R. and it is a website for uh, doing all kinds of uh, gig work, such as voiceover work, uh, graphic design, uh, artistic commissions for people, sculptures, accounting, personal assistance, you know, all kinds of stuff, things that you can do from home. And uh, so we will be talking about that service in this video. Uh, and uh, after the video is done playing, then we will open up the Zoom room for uh, uh, taking raised hands. If you have questions, please uh, wait until the end of the presentation. And also please remember to stay muted during the presentation until it's complete. All right, I'm going to, without any further ado, uh, switch over to uh, past Chris and me <laughs> and uh, let myself and Chris take over. So here we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Peterson, founder and CEO of Penny Forward and a disembodied voice. And only if you're watching on video, though. Um, Penny Forward is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to help blind people navigate the complicated landscape of personal finance through education, mentoring, and mutual support. And this is our monthly public Zoom chat called Financial Sense, where we talk about personal finance from a younger and a more casual viewer's perspective. And this month, I am not here. So why can you hear me, you ask yourself? Well, I pre-recorded this message because I am away at a conference, and I asked Penny Forward volunteer and podcast producer Byron Lee to cover the call this month and to talk to us about Fiverr. Fiverr is a website similar to Uber or Lyft or DoorDash. It allows you to have a side hustle by advertising your services through a website on the internet. And the kinds of services that you can advertise are all over the map from everything from audio editing to doing psychic readings. So if you're blind and you want to be doing a side hustle, but everything you're reading is telling you to do Uber or Lyft or DoorDash, and you say to yourself, well, how am I gonna do that? Which is a reasonable question, this might be one way to answer it. Fiverr may be an option for you if you can do any of the things that many other people are already doing on Fiverr in a way that people will pay you for. So I'm going to turn it over to Byron now. And Byron is going to do a demo of some of the kinds of things that Fiverr offers. And while I'm not here here, uh, I am present while we're doing the recording of this demo. So I may pitch in and ask questions or make comments along the way. Go ahead, Byron. So you're kind of like the equivalent of like a navigator for an Uber driver. <laughs> you're like my GPS. <laughs> yes, take the next left. All right, sounds good. Well, we're on fiverr.com right now and that's uh, spelled very strangely. So uh, if you go to type it in and it doesn't work correctly, it's because they have a very unique spelling. It's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. So uh, just like all of the other uh, technology oriented things that always they always have to like spell it weird. So there you go. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is just kind of 
take a, a look at the main page and see what kind of elements uh, are available here. And then we're going to look at the specific categories of work that you can do or that you could consume. And then we're going to take a look a, a little bit at the help section to see if we can find some answers to some commonly asked questions. Um, so I am using NVDA on Windows 10 and uh, I am on fiverr.com and we're just gonna go ahead and start hitting the down arrow. So um, let's go ahead and start with that. Link www.fiverr.com source equals top NAV. Find services edit. All right, so this is an edit field where we could type in the kind of services we're looking for. If you're looking for a voiceover artist, you could just go into this field and type in voiceover and you would get all kinds of results. Navigation landmark list with one items button figure caption B. So that, that letter B is my name, Byron. It's, it's the button for my account. So it's where I would go to get to my profile, my settings, etc. Out of figure, out of list, clickable navigation landmark button. List with nine items, link graphics and design. Link digital marketing. Link writing and translation. Link video and animation. Link music and audio. Link programming and tech. Link business. Link lifestyle. Trending. Out of list, clickable B. Link Byron 27. Visited link home. Link inbox. Link manage orders. Link lists. Clickable browse categories. List with nine items clickable graphics and design. List with 52 right. items link logo design. Link brand style guides. So we're seeing lots of like subcategories under uh, major categories. Um, so if we keep going down here, we'll see some more of the types of work that we can do under graphic design. Which, you know, I hear a lot of, a lot of blind people do that. <laughs> link game art. Link graphics for streamers. Link business cards and stationery. Link website design. And keep in mind, these are things that you could also consume. So if you're starting a Twitch stream, you could have somebody build you an OBS overlay or something. Link app design. Link UX design. Link landing page design. Link resume design. Link illustration. Link NFT art. Link pattern design. So as you can there. see, there's a ton. Yeah. I want to pause there because one of the things that was that was uh, jumping out at me was resume design. Mm -hmm. And whether you are wanting to start your own business or whether you are a job seeker, having a really good looking resume from a visual perspective is really important. Resume writers can be really expensive. It can sometimes cost upwards of $1,000 to have someone professionally write your resume for you. But if you can write your resume yourself, which many of us can do, and you simply want it to look really good visually, this might be a place that you might want to go for a less expensive uh, resume designer that can help to format your resume visually so that it stands out. That's right. So we're seeing a lot where it looks like this is not showing up visually on the screen, but it must be um, sort of part of an underlay that the accessibility is following. Uh, it's following the subcategories of the graphics and art design um, category. So uh, we could just keep hitting the down arrow until we get to some other categories that would be of uh, more interest to us, or we can just keep on going and see what else there is. How would you like to handle that? Uh, let's keep on going, but it could be a very complicated page and we may want to move on if yeah. we start to run out of time. All right. All right. So we're just going to keep going for a little bit longer and see what we find. Link fonts and typography. Link brochure design. Link poster design. Link flyer design. Link book design. I heard the clock tower, uh, they're raising money for the clock tower, uh, you know, the flyer. Link album <laughs> cover design. Link podcast cover art. Ah, this is a good one for you, Chris. You know, with the uh, yeah, absolutely, podcast. yeah, absolutely. Link packaging and label design. Link storyboards. Link social media design. Link catalog design. Link menu design. You know, the social media design one is also um, sort of jumping out at me because if you're going to create a group, um, for example, we've got the blind content creators group, and if I wanted custom art for my social media page, this would be a good place to get that done. Link invitation design. Link portraits and caricatures. Link cartoons and comics. Link tattoo design. Ooh, all right. That sounds like fun. <laughs> link signage design. Link web banners. 
Link Image Editing, Link Architecture and Interior Design, Link Landscape Design, Link Building Engineering, Link Building Information Modeling. Gosh, there are so many categories. Link Character Modeling, Link Industrial and Product Design, Link Trade Booth Design, Link T-Shirts and Merchandise. Oh, that's another cool one. Link Fashion Design, Link Jewelry Design, Link Presentation Design. Link email design. Yeah, presentation design. If you're trying to do a really uh, uh, visual PowerPoint presentation, uh, this could be a great way to make that happen. Link icon design. Link infographic design. Link car wraps. Link vector tracing. Link other. Link Twitch store. Link design advice. Link all in graphics and design. Wow, so there's... There's even more, it sounds like, because we're at the all in graphic design. And, and so I wonder if there's even more. Out of list clickable digital marketing. So that was a list. So you could probably jump. Um, you could probably jump by list. List with 26 items. Link social media advertising. Link social media marketing. Link guest posting. Link search engine optimization. Link public relations. Wow. See, there's so many, so many different kinds of jobs. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you have a skill, it looks like, of any kind um, that you can do from home uh, and, and sell those services, it has a category for it here. So that's really cool. Skip to the uh, skip to the business section because that's an interesting one, as is the lifestyle section. Toolbar. B -F -I -A -F -A. Yeah, let's see if I can get to that. Fiverr Freelance Services Marketplace. Link e-learning content development. Mm. Toolbar. Yeah, that's not Fiverr. So let me just list. do H for heading and see if I get it. Clickable my profile head. General heading level. Clickable make a customized logo in most popular gigs. In no, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump to the top because we saw the categories earlier. Yep. So I'm going to just jump to the top. Yeah. M. Clickable banner land link dub find sir navigation land out of figure out of I'm moving kind of fast to find it quickly list with nine link digital mark link writing and track link video and and link music and audio link programming and link business all right right here yep all right business support services for hire online fiber busy link www.fiber.find find services edit Navigation landmark li out of figure out of list navigation. So we're going to have to hear the navigation stuff again. So I'm going to hit H for heading. My profile heading level six. General heading le clickable business heading level there we one. Go. Take your business to the next level. Button how fiber works. Heading level two most popular in business. Button unavailable. Button. Link graphic e commerce store manager. Link e commerce store manager. Link graphic lead generation. Link lead generation. Link graphic accounting and bookkeeping. Link accounting and bookkeeping. Link graphic patent applications. Link patent applications. Link graphic CRM management. Link CRM management. Link graphic business plans. Link business plans. Oh, that's a good one. Link graphic business consulting. Yep. Link business consulting. Link graphic customer care. Link customer care. Link graphic legal consulting. Link legal cons. Link graphic market research. Link market research. Link graphic virtual assistant. Link virtual assistant. Oh, that sounds like fun. heading level let's two. Talk explore about, business. Let's talk about virtual assistants for a second, because Penny Forward has a virtual assistant. Her name is Mo Carpenter, and many of you may know her. Um, she does a number of things that uh, you could hire yourself out for on Fiverr if you so chose. Um, some of them were listed as categories here, and some of them were not necessarily, but. Uh, Customer care is one of her responsibilities. She answers the phones during certain hours of the day, and she also responds to emails and reaches out to people to make sure that they're they're having a good experience on pennyforward.com. She also creates social media posts and blog posts and uh, sets up our weekly newsletter OBS, OBS every week and a number of other things um, that are not all completely non-visual there's you know we, we struggle a little bit as any blind business owners do with what to do about graphical things but um for the most part uh we found accessible ways for her to to do uh the the tasks that she needs to do day to day and uh some of these tasks 
would be covered under the virtual assistant category or I think under the customer care category uh, in here. So certainly there are things that I think we could we could definitely be uh, helpful to some people with depending on the, the job duties and our level of vision and our level of comfort with tools that can help us with visual tasks like uh, Ira and Be My Eyes. So how do you feel about going into the virtual assistant category and seeing what kind of um, what kind of people we can find in that category? Let's do it. All right, I'm going to go back up here. Link virtual assistant. All right. Virtual assistant freelancers for hire online Fiverr busy. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the navigational stuff again by hitting H for heading. My profile head, general heading, clickable banner landmark. I will provide probate, oh. divorce, code violation list and skip tracing for real estate link heading level three. All right. So the uh, each each person is a different heading here. Um, so, you you know, we were previously at banner landmark banner landmark virtual banner. assistant heading level one and then when i hit h again i will provide probate i divorce. got to the first result so uh logic dictates if i keep hitting h i should be able to go from one one profile or one user you know one one uh business to another so let's try hitting h again i will be your virtual assistant for usa real estate cold calling link heading level three. Oh, that's cool I will run real estate text campaign to find motivated sellers link heading level three. I will do telemarketing, sales calls, leads appointment setting link heading level three. I will make your cold and telemarketing calls link heading level three. I will real estate cold calling native like link heading level three. I will do USA wholesale real estate cold calls link heading level three. So should we pick one of these and see what they're what they're like? Um, sure. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's definitely do that and, and, uh, see, um, what they say they will do. And, uh, I'm noticing that there's a lot of real estate ones. Yeah. The, nec the next um, one and, looks and like it might be good. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I will be yeah, your personal let's, let's administrative virtual assistant link heading level three. So this one is someone who wants to be your administrative, uh, virtual assistant. So that one, that one sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, let's look at that. And were you about to say anything about real estate or? Yeah, I just had noticed that real estate was a very popular one, but but uh, if you are comfortable with making phone calls to people, you know, they call it cold calls. So, you know, people that you don't know, um, asking them if they want to sell their home and they want to set up an appointment or, or whatever, um, you know, if that's something that you're comfortable with doing, uh, then... Uh, clearly, there's a lot of people that are listing that service here and um, and a lot of realtors that want people to do that or or they, you know, there wouldn't be so many listings of, of that kind. Now, one thing I'm noticing uh, as I'm going through Fiverr visually is that all of these people have uh, an image. So one of them has a picture of a blonde woman holding an old school beige telephone um, and it says, looking for real estate cold caller, look no further. Um, and it looks very professional. Uh, it shows a picture of her on the phone. I hope she, I hope she uses that actual phone. Like that would be cool. <laughs> um, but anyway, so you're, you might want to hire someone on Fiverr who does graphic design to make you a image that will make your profile pop more. Because I'm telling you that these images that I'm looking at um, draw my eye every bit as much as the text under them does. So, Are they actual pictures of the people, do you think? Or are they Sometimes it's a picture of a person. Sometimes it's, a, it's like a logo for a business. Or sometimes it's text. Um, like there's, there's one a little higher. Be your um, person. There's one that's a little bit higher. That is just a purple, uh, like a purple background. Uh, and it says cold calling appointment setting. And there's no picture of the person. So it doesn't, okay. it's not always, it doesn't look like it's always a picture of a person. Uh, some of these are creative too. Like there's two post-it notes on one of them. And one says, hey, how's it going? Warm sellers, call to offer, boost up deals. Um, and then another one has the logo for that business. And so it's like... Um, kind of creative in that way where it's two little post-its little post-it notes sure yeah sure all right so i'm going to go down to this uh virtual assistant that we have found that she looks uh she looks like she might be pretty good so let's go ahead and click on her about blank 
Be your personal administrative virtual assistant by Roseboom Fiber Busy. Banner landmark button. Link W. All right, I'm going to hit H again to jump to the heading so I can get to the top of the actual content. My profile head, general heading, clickable complimentary landmark $60 save up to 10% with clickable subscribe to save heading level 3. All right, it looks like I may have skipped over some content, so I'm going to go back up a little bit. Clickable premium, clickable standard, clickable basic, button AED AED. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm at the top of the content here, I believe. So they have this person has three different plans. Uh, there's basic, and it doesn't say that that basic is selected right now, but I can see that it clickable is. Clickable complimentary landmark, clickable standard, clickable premium, heading level $360. So it looks like her basic service is $60. Heading level 3 save up to 10% with clickable subscribe to save. Basic three hours of work, four days delivery. List with five items travel planning, basic photo editing, organize, classify, or tag your files, formatting and clean up, three hours of work, out of list button continue, button contact seller, navigation landmark list with three items link business, link virtual assistant, link administration, out of list heading level one I will be your personal administrative virtual assistant, figure caption R, graphic roseboom. Out of figure clickable Roseboom, top rated seller, clickable, 5, 192, 4 orders in queue. So that uh, 592, I believe, is the number of reviews or the number of stars, but I'm not sure. Link be your personal visual assist. And also it was saying that there are four orders in, in queue. So that might be something to keep in mind. If somebody has a lot of orders in, in, your, in their queue and you need a project done quickly, you might want to keep an eye on that. Link be your personal visual assist. Clickable figure graphic clickable be your personal administrative virtual assistant. Out of figure full screen. Link graphic be your personal link graphic be link graphic link okay, graphic I think, link graphic. Yeah, I think I'm at the bottom. Link, link button see all reviews oh, no okay so there's a I there was a bunch of garbage there that i had to get past so now we're on the see all reviews button so we could look at her reviews or we could continue uh to contact the seller um we could continue by placing an order or we can just contact the seller without actually making a commitment so uh if we keep going down here button clickable graphic clickable clip gomez heading level six clip gomez graphic clickable us United States, clickable 5. This was my first experience working with Rose. I'm very satisfied with her ability to work with. Um, I do want to point out that we passed some buttons that didn't announce what they were. The contact button and the contact seller button. I'm going to go back up if you don't mind and just see if I missed something because I, I would be concerned if those buttons aren't accessible. Clickable 5. United, graph, heading, graphic, clickable, Cliff Gomez, button. So that button is the contact seller button. Banner landmark button. See all reviews. Oh, no, it's not. Heading level two. What people loved about this seller. Link graphic. Be your personal administrative virtual assistant. I think that's I think that's the contact seller button. I'm going to try something, if you don't mind, Chris. I'm going to hit B for button and see if I can get to those buttons. Banner landmark. See all review button. Button. Contact me <laughs> button. Clickable button. Okay. Button. Yep. There's there's a few un unlabeled buttons here, <clears throat> so that's that's uh, definitely a concern for consuming Fiverr, and it might be easier on the phone. Um, I think you had experience, Chris, with using Fiverr through the app or through the web the website on your phone. No, I used it through with NVDA, and I did notice that um, some of the buttons were unlabeled, but I did hear a contact me button. Okay. All right, so um, we could probably so hit not, it, you could probably hit B until you found contact me button and and it would it would be yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very busy site. I do notice that, but it, you know and and like many things they put they appear to have put some effort into accessibility, uh but maybe they haven't quite hit the mark entirely. Uh still yeah. I think there's there's hope that we could use this as as consumers, and, and I think there's also hope that we could use this as sellers. Yeah, and often, 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 the app is way more accessible than the website, so it might be, you know, at least worth checking appleviz.com to see what the accessibility of the Fiverr app is, uh, and maybe even downloading it and trying it for yourself on your phone and see what that does. 
All right. Um, well, I was thinking it might be kind of fun to listen to some of the um, some of the demos that some of the audio editors have done. How does that sound to you? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to jump to the top of the page here. Banner landmark button. And I'm going to look for the, um, the, the audio, the video, the, the music and audio uh, category, I think is what it was. Link dub. Find navigate out of fig list with link dig link writing link video link music link pro oh. link music and audio. All right, there it is. I was going too fast for my, my own good. music and audio services on. All right, I'm gonna hit H until I start finding some profiles here. My profile general heading le clickable music and audio he most popular in music explore music and audio heading level two clickable music production and writing heading level three clickable audio engineering and post production heading level three. Clickable voiceover and streaming heading level three. Clickable lessons and transcription heading level three. Clickable DJing so heading level three. So it looks like these are all the categories. Um, we didn't get that before when we were in business. Uh, oh no, we did. We did. Never mind. We we got to the virtual assistant category and we chose that one. Um, so what sounds good, Chris? Do you want to try like voiceover? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go backwards I think any of us here. could probably do voiceovers if we read out loud well. Yeah, I'm going to go backwards and find voiceover. Clickable lessons and clickable voiceover and streaming heading level three. All right, so I'm going to hit enter on that. And now we should be... Um... Graphic voiceover and streaming. There you go. Waiting for the page to load. Yeah, it's taking its own sweet time. Heading level three, link voiceover. Oh, there we go. Okay. So Voice I wasn't actually freelance. on a link. I was on a graphic. That's my fault. Sorry about that. All right. So let's hit H and see if we find, if we can start finding some profiles. My profile heading level six, general heading level, clickable banner landmark, ban select voiceover language heading level. I will record a professional American male voiceover in English link heading level three. I will record a voiceover for your political campaign link heading level three. I will record professional American male voiceover link heading level three. I will be the fun, fresh female voice for your project link heading level three. I will narrate your VSL video sales letter pitch in American English male voiceover link heading level three. I will record a professional German male voiceover in 24 hours link heading level three. I will record a natural, professional male voice, voiceover for you link heading level three. All right, so we're seeing lots and lots of different uh, profiles here. So why don't we go ahead and hit enter on this one and see what kind of services they provide. Busy. About blank. Clickable my profile heading level six. General heading level six. Clickable complimentary landmark voiceover $10 heading level three. Heading level three $10. Two days delivery. Number of words. Spin button has auto complete editable 25. Button continue. Clickable button contact seller. Navigation landmark list with two items link music and audio. Link voiceover. Out of list heading level one I will record a natural, professional male voice. Voiceover for you. Figure caption B. Graphic bill manager. Out of figure clickable bill manager. Top rated seller. Clickable. Five. Four thousand nine hundred and thirteen. Wow, he has four thousand reviews. Three orders in queue. Graphic animated trophy. People keep coming back. Link make your words and script com. Link make your words and script com. Clickable figure clickable button. Graphic clickable record a natural, professional male voice. Voice over for you. So I think this clickable button here might be a uh, might be a demo because I, I see a play button. So I'm going to try hitting enter on this and see if it plays me a demo. No. Nope. Out of figure link, make your words, click a button. I think it's this one. Yep, here we go. My name is Bill, and thank you for looking at my gig. When you hire me for your voice, what you're getting is more than 20 plus years of voiceover experience, recorded in a professional studio. I voice thousands of commercials and industrial narrations, from the smallest mom and pop shops to being the voice for several Fortune 100 companies. I do voiceovers for TV, radio, narrations, on-hold systems, training tutorials, audiobooks, website greetings, and pretty much anything that uses a voice. My extensive experience, professionalism, and attention to detail means you're in great hands. I look forward to working with you and lending my voice to your project. Click on the Order tab and let's get started. This gig is exclusively offered on Fiverr. Oh, that guy has what I would call a big boy voice. 
<laughs> well, that was cool. Um, all right. So that is one of our choices. Do you want to hear another one, Chris? Maybe we could find uh, another creator that has a female voice. Well, there was a fun female voice a few yeah. a few items back. All right. Let's uh, do, go back to the previous page here. Uh, it's Out not, of figure. Not letting me do it. So let me try this. Firefox be back. Oh, so these these are tabs that uh so I guess when you click on a job, it opens in a different tab. So I was trying to go back and it would not let me. So I'm gonna close this tab. Voice over freelance voice actors. All right, now I'm gonna hit shift H to go back to that fun female voice. I will record a professional German male. I will narrate your VSL. I will be the fun, fresh female voice for your project link heading level three. Busy. All right. And About blank. Let's take a look at this be the profile. Fun. Clickable my profile heading level, general heading level, clickable complimentary landmark $25 save up to 20% with clickable subscribe to save heading level 3. Heading level 3 save up to 20% with clickable subscribe to save. Voice over. 3 days delivery. 1 revision. List with 1 items HQ audio file. Oh, so Wave she, format. she gives 1 revision, so if you don't like something that she said, or if she mispronounced something, or you didn't like the pacing, you can ask for 1 revision for free, that's cool. Out of list number of words. Spin button has auto-complete editable 25. Button continue. Clickable button contact seller. Alright, so these buttons are labeled. Navigation that's landmark good. list with 2 items link music and audio. Link voice over. Out of list heading level 1 I will be the fun. Fresh female voice for your project. Figure caption N. Graphic Nunatisha. Out of figure clickable Nunatisha. Level 2 seller. Clickable. 5. 180. Among my clients. So she's had 180 reviews. Blank. Navigation landmark list with 4 items. Graphic Pfizer. Pfizer. Graphic Microsoft. Microsoft. Graphic Malibu Rum. Malibu Rum. Graphic Mercedes Benz. Wow, Mercedes she's had some Benz. Pretty big clients. Out of list link be the voice of your new start. Link be the voice of your new clickable figure clickable but graphic click button. All right, so I had to go. I had to. I went down and then I went back up just now, and it it said button. So um. Out of clickable figure clickable button. Click of clickable figure button is the play button for those of you who are looking for it later. It's clickable figure button. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on this. Hey, my name's Natasha Blass and I'm a professional voice artist. I bring projects to life using my home recording studio. My style is versatile, but I try to keep things fun and natural, as if I'm talking to a friend. Here's some examples of my work. Do you know a wine lover who'd love to learn more about wine, but doesn't know where to start? Help them become a wine expert by gifting them a personalized Bright Cellars experience. Year after year, Nike has been recognized as the industry's biggest user of recycled polyester. That adds up to more than 6 billion plastic bottles diverted from landfill and counting. The Song of Ice and Fire book series was tremendously popular when it was first released and grew in popularity after the HBO adaptation Game of Thrones. These businesses use Gusto because it's the easiest way to pay employees. That looks great. Running payroll takes minutes. And your taxes? All filed for you. All right. Well, we just gave a bunch of people free advertising, so that's cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so that is uh, her demo reel. So there's two good examples of voiceover artists that um, have very uh, comprehensive pages, complete with a graphic, um, showing a picture of them and some text, uh, a filled out profile. Um, they have some reviews. They list their clients. Uh, they list what kinds of things they will do, like what, how many revisions. Um, you can choose how many words uh, the script should be. So, um, you know, each category is going to have their own different terminology or slang. But in the audio, you know, the voiceover section, they have terminology relating to voiceovers. So there you go. All right. Where should we go I next? Over. I noticed that they had uh, lessons and transcription, so I gather that some people are willing to offer music lessons, and I would think that some of our musician friends might be willing to do that. So let's look at that section. All right, let's see if I can get back My to music the previous and page and get to the lessons section. Clickable session musicians graphic session musicians link. Songwriters graphic songwriters link. Podcast editing graphic podcast editing link. Beats graphic beats link. 
Sound design, graphic sound design link. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna start hitting H instead of Tab because I think that got me to that section faster. Explore music and audio heading level. Clickable music production and writing heading level. Th clickable audio engineering and post production head. Clickable voiceover and streaming heading level three. Clickable lessons and transcription heading go. level three. Yeah. So uh, just keep in mind that H is a great way to quickly move around, but there are uh, some smaller subcategories that are easier to get to with the down arrow or the tab key. So there you go. All right. Link online music lessons. So these are some of the categories in their lesson section. Link music transcription. Link music and audio advice new. Clickable graphic DJing. All right. So those are the three categories they have under lessons and transcription. Um, there, there may be more, Back. there might be like a, a show all or something like that, but, uh, should I do online music lessons? Sure. All right. Online, online music lessons, link online music lessons by freelance musicians, Fiverr busy clickable. My profile general heading level six. So again, I'm hitting the letter H clickable banner, landmark, banner, landmark, online music lessons, heading level one. All right. Now I'm going to start hitting the down arrow. Master a new instrument, software, or skill with professional music and audio instructors. Button how Fiverr works. Clickable link graphic clickable instruments. I do at some point want to come back and maybe check out that how Fiverr works button. Link instruments. Clickable link graphic clickable production. Link production. Clickable link graphic clickable vocals. Link vocals. Button. Clickable service options. Clickable seller details. So why don't we go back up to instruments? Because um, there's there's more categories. Uh, there's more. There's some drop down boxes here, like service options. Clickable budget. Clickable delivery time. Clickable. Pro services. Clickable. So I'm thinking uh, I want to go back up and do instruments. That sounds that sounds pretty interesting. Cl 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 clickable service op button. Clickable link vocals. Link graphic clickable vocals. Clickable link production. Link graphic clickable production. Clickable link instruments. All right, let's do that. Online instrument lessons by freelance musicians Fiverr Busy. Link www. My profile heading. General heading level. Clickable banner landmark. Banner landmark instruments heading level one. All right, I'm going to start hitting the down arrow. Master a new instrument with professional musicians. Button how Fiverr works. Clickable service options. Clickable seller details. Clickable budget. So you can adjust these things. Now that we're in instruments, you can say, I want to, you know, adjust how much I'm willing to spend or how soon I want those services. Clickable delivery time. Clickable. Pro services. These are toggle buttons that you can turn on. Clickable. Local sellers. Clickable. Online sellers, 1,020 services available. Oh, man. Sort by clickable recommended. Link clickable. Link graphic give you a jazz, funk, or soul piano lesson. Link clickable. Link. Link graphic give you a jazz, funk, or soul. So I'm going to start hitting H to jump between, um, uh, to jump between uh, you know, services by people. I will give you a jazz funk or soul i will teach beginner online guitar lessons for all ages on zoom link heading level three. Oh, that sounds pretty let's cool. look at that yeah busy about blank banner landmark my profile head general heading level six clickable complimentary landmark 30 minutes online guitar lesson 30 dollars heading level three heading level three thirty dollars live lessons tailored to your so if i were to go up they have a basic standard and premium category so when i hit h i bypassed those tabs um so just so that you guys know that if i were to go back up here, heading heading level clickable premium clickable standard clickable basic so those are there in case you want to see some of their more clickable standard like if we do standard clickable premium heading level 345 minutes online guitar lesson heading level 345 dollars live lessons tailored to your individual needs step-by-step -step breakdown of techniques seven days delivery and then if i were to go to premium it would show me another price he heading clickable premium heading level 360 minutes online guitar lesson heading level 365 dollars live lessons tailored to your individual needs step-by-step -step breakdown of techniques seven days delivery list with four items one lesson 60 minutes sheet music exercises and supporting material out of list button continue button contact seller navigation landmark list with three items link music and audio link online music lessons link instruments 
Out of list heading level 1 I will teach beginner online guitar lessons for all ages on Zoom. Figure caption J. And she has a, uh, he has a video coming up Graphic here. Graphic Jordan Cromwell 5. Out of figure clickable Jordan Cromwell 5. Level 2 seller. Clickable. 5. 5. Link teach acoustic and electric So he goo. has five reviews. Link teach acoustic and electric goo. Clickable figure clickable button. All right. Do we want to watch his video and see what that's all about? Yeah. Have you ever wanted to learn how to play the guitar? Or maybe you've been playing for a while and you'd like to improve your technique and your skills? Maybe you just want to know what it's like to learn how to play an instrument and be able to make music? Well, if so, then I want to tell you about my live online guitar lessons done over Zoom or Skype. So before I tell you about that, I want to let you know about my philosophy and my technical approach for teaching the guitar. So for me, teaching the guitar is not only about the skills and the technique about being able to play the instrument, but it's also about having some tools so you have the ability to connect with that experience of creating music. And I just think that's really important because whether you're just an amateur, whether you're a professional, you know, you just play on your own for fun here and there, um, being able to play an instrument and create music is just a really great way to connect with that, that deep place inside yourself. And that's it. All right. So he gets $65 for one hour of giving you a guitar lesson on Zoom. I mean, that's not too shabby for, you yeah. know, an after work gig. I think the original name of Fiverr, it, originally they started out with, uh, you know, sell a service for $5 or, or, your, or your preferred price. But I think like the original suggested idea was... You know, you, you do somebody a voiceover and you get five bucks. Uh, but it looks to me like now uh, it has morphed into, uh, you know, maybe a bit more money than that. So. And there are other services like this. Uh, one that comes to mind is called Upwork. I haven't spent uh, as much time looking at Upwork to see what kinds of uh, services they provide or what kind of accessibility they have. But uh, Fiverr is is one of many different platforms where you can uh, set up your own gigs, and those gigs don't necessarily have to be something that requires vision to to do. Um, many of us play guitar and could teach guitar lessons, for example. Yep, exactly. All right. Um, so we've been going for about 30 minutes or so. Um, do we want to look at some other sections of this website or should we, how do, how do you want to, you know what, let's look that. at the, uh, how Fiverr works. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. All right. So I'm going to, I've already jumped up to the top of the page. I've closed that guy's page and I've jumped to the top of the previous page already. So I'm going to, um, navigation whoops. toolbar Fiverr. Virtual assistant freelancer. Uh, oh, I lost online that page. Instru online. There we go. I got it back. Okay. Whew. All right. So let me uh, <laughs> let me get to that how Fiverr works button. Clickable my profile head general heading level six. Link settings. Clickable banner landmark banner land master a new instrument button how Fiverr works. All right. Let's check this out. I'm curious. All right. A global marketplace connecting individuals and businesses with freelancers offering thousands of digital services. Graphic design, web development, video editing, e-commerce marketing. You name it, there's a professional freelancer ready to make it happen. Filter your search by the service needed, budget, timeline, and boom. Fiverr provides a list of talented freelancers to meet your specific needs. Always know what you'll pay up front. No hourly rates, just project-based pricing. And because payment isn't released until you approve the work, you can rest assured that you'll be satisfied with the quality and get exactly what you want. Our support team is always available to answer questions or offer assistance when you need it. With the whole world of freelance talent at your fingertips, what might you achieve? Join today and find out. Fiverr. It starts here. Very cool. Uh, that was, it just popped up a video as soon as I clicked that. So that's, that's neat. 
Now, I noticed that there was no description of that video, uh, but what was going on during it? Was there anything that, that was important to know that we didn't see? Um, they So they were showing, um, you know, like videos of uh, like a woman sitting down at a two monitor setup, you know, to edit some video and a guy sitting in front of a microphone. And uh, but then they showed the website and they showed the different sections of the website where you can see the price up front. Um, you know, they kind of showed briefly like a few profile pages uh, to show like the general layout, but uh, it wasn't anything in, in particular. There was no like massive amounts of info that we missed as far as I can tell. In fact, a lot of the words that they were saying, they were also showing in large font on, on the video itself. So yeah. Well, good to know. Yeah. That, well, that was very cool. Um, I'm kind of wondering um, how, how much time do we have? Do you think? Well, um, I typically like to present for around 30 to 45 minutes and then give people uh, a few minutes to ask questions or have you take a look at some kinds of uh, parts of the site that they're interested in. Okay. So we could continue on or we could stop here. Um, I, you know, one thing I would like to uh, briefly show is the help section. Uh, because I am curious if any any questions to answers will be uh, tackled in the help section. So I'm going to go back up to the top here. Um, Clickable service options. Clickable seller details. Let's go up to Clickable the top here. Out banner landmark button. There we go. Link www button. So I, want, I think this button is where I want to be. www find services edit. Navigation landmark list with one items figure Byron Lee B caption button. Clickable navigation landmark list with nine items graphics and design link. Digital marketing link. Writing and translation. Video and animation. Music and audio visited link. Programming and tech link. Business visited link. Lifestyle link. Clickable Byron 27 link. Link inbox. Link manage orders. Link lists. Clickable browse categories, list with 9 items clickable graphics and design, list with 52 items link logo design, link brand style guides. So I'm not finding that help section. I was really wanting to, to kind of browse that uh, briefly, but I, I'm not thinking that I can find it quickly. Um, let's try insert F7 and see if I can find help that way. Elements list dialog H. HR consult H. Help you learn finger style or base H. Help to improvise. H. Help and support. There we go. Visited 400 online instrument That's lessons by freelance musicians. Fiverr. All right. So I'm going to jump to the uh, categories. What do you need help with? Popular topics heading level six. Link buyer order management. Link payments. Link invoices. Link Fiverr business. Heading level six recommended for you. List with eight items. Link how Fiverr works. Link general account management. Link invoices. Link invoices, link payment issues, link payments, link find a service and get a quote, link buyer FAQ US, link paying for orders, extras, or so that the buyer FAQs, uh, that might be a section that we might want to check out. So I'm gonna go back up to that. Does that sound good, Chris? Sure. Link buyer FAQ US. Fiber Help and Education Center Mozilla Fire Content Info Land Clickable about heading level six. Clickable support heading level six. Clickable community heading level six. Clickable more from Fiverr heading level six. So I think I've bypassed something. So let me go back up here. Cl click clickable about heading level six. Cl no previous heading. List with five items. Link find a service and get a quote. Link how do I accept a seller's delivery? Link how do I change my order's status? Link how do I add feedback to an order? Link how do I tip my seller? Oh, that's interesting. Out of list content info landmark still need help? We're here for you. Looks like they have a lot of different help sections, but I was I was kind of hoping for like a you know, welcome to Fiverr. Here's our like most frequently asked questions, but it doesn't seem like I'm really getting that. Um, but the good thing is, you know, there's a search section. So if we wanted to know um how how to sell uh, we could go to the search section and type in selling and see what kind of uh, answers come up there. So that that could certainly be helpful. Um, yeah. I would like to know, uh, many of our 
listeners slash viewers are totally blind and find the screen reader part of this to be helpful, but some people do have some vision mm -hmm. and you have some vision. Mm -hmm. How is the site from a low vision perspective? Uh, that's a good, uh, that's a good question. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly shut off NVDA. Exit N. And uh, I'm going to zoom the browser to the level that I usually have it at, which is close to 200%. And then I'm just going to go to fiverr.com and show you like the front page when it's increased. So um, the nice thing about Fiverr is that um, it, it do, none of it seems to fall off of the screen um, when I have it really large. So the um, right now I'm looking at a bunch of gigs on their front page. So there's some online music lessons. Uh, there are some voiceover um, profiles. There's a, a female British voiceover artist here. Um, but none of the text is falling off of the edge. Now, what is happening, unfortunately, is the text uh, for the person's profile is truncated. So it just says, I will record, and then the rest of it's gone. So what I would have to do is click on this British person's profile, and now I can read, I will record professional British, British female voiceover. Uh, but as you can see, her page is pretty simple looking. I can see her username. I can see that she has 147 reviews with five stars. Um, I can see that she has clients like Honda, Google, and Garmin. Um, you know, everything seems to be relatively... Um, relatively well thought out in terms of the low vision accessibility. Nothing is falling off of the edge of the screen aside from the truncated descriptions on the main page. So you have to click on the profiles uh, or zoom out to read the full description, unfortunately. Okay, so not, not perfect, but not deal breakers either. Yeah, certainly not a deal breaker. It's certainly doable. And it's better than a lot of websites that, you know, things are falling off the edge or sla slamming into each other or, you know, something like that. So um, yeah. also, I just wanted to point out, I'm looking at this um, British voiceover artists uh, page and they have an FAQ of their own at, on their page. So it, they have like, what is included in a revision? What rights should I purchase? Uh, do you ever refuse work do you treat your do you treat your audio what exactly will i end up with um so she has faqs and reviews that you can read before you make a decision and and also sometimes they have uh, more than just the one video uh demonstrating what they do sometimes they have more audio available on their page uh so there are demos uh on here that you can listen to to get a better idea of what she does really good well, I think at this point, let's turn it over to the audience and see if anybody has any questions or, or anything they want you to look at in more detail. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you, Chris, for uh, being here. I hope you have a good time at your conference, and uh, we'll see you next time you're ne next week, I guess. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, all right, so now we are back to being live. So we have achieved uh, now, now in the stream. Um, so I am looking at the list of participants in the uh, Zoom call right now. And I do see that Frank has his hand up. So Frank, go ahead and uh, unmute and ask your question. Hey, Byron. I'm wondering if you have had a chance to look at the... Uh section of the Fiverr, web, Fiverr website where people actually post their um, their offerings um, and in terms of how um, intuitive is that, how easy is it to work with with a screen reader and to set up your your individual uh, profile and your uh, you know like if and, and whatever your gig is that you that you're offering if, if you and I don't know if have you had a chance to do that? Um, so I think Chris is in the room, uh, right now and, uh, Chris, I believe you had a chance to do that. He might be, uh, otherwise occupied right now. So, um, uh, I have not had a chance to post a, uh, a, like a, like a posting on profile, um, offering to do work yet. Um, however, I have heard 
from many other blind people uh, that the process is relatively accessible with some minor roadblocks here and there, like unlabeled buttons. Um, and again, as I said earlier, uh, the, the iPhone app will very most likely, you know, ha offer less roadblocks than the website. Do we have any other uh, hands that, uh, you know, questions people would like to ask? Or Frank, do you have any other questions? Nope, no other question. All right. Very cool. Um, Chris, if you're, if you're uh, still there and have some final thoughts or words, feel free to unmute and uh, let's hear what you might have to say. Hey, are you hearing me now? I do, yes. Oh, good. Um, I was trying to respond to Frank's question before. And uh, like you, I've heard from some blind people that the uh, profile creation process is is doable with the caveat that there are some, you know, kind of funny things like unlabeled buttons, just like we saw, you know, when we were looking at sellers. And I can tell you Frank, that I have gone through most of that process and found that to be true. I, I haven't actually gotten as far as as posting a gig or, or anything like that, but I've, I've been able to create the profile to do that uh, without running into any major roadblocks. Um, also, I, since I'm able to be here, uh, I wanted to thank Byron for taking the time to uh, to host the call and present today. We weren't sure if I was going to be able to uh, to be online during this time or, you know, being in a hotel room, you never know how good the Wi-Fi is going to be or anything. So um, uh, fortunately, I was able to listen to it all and it sounded great. Um, and uh, I, I really appreciate uh, uh, Byron uh, taking his time to uh, to be able to cover it for us. And uh, next month, um, we're going to be talking about a favorite topic at the end of every year, holiday budgeting tips. So come with uh, your holiday budgeting tips um, because uh, that is definitely a call where we want uh, input from uh, people who love to share their, uh, uh, their holiday budgeting tips. And uh, finally, um, if you are not a member of Penny Forward and you're uh, on the call tonight or you're watching this on uh, Facebook or YouTube, uh, I hope that you'll join Penny Forward. It's $9 a month or $99 a year. And for that, you get access to our self-placed online accessible financial education courses, our weekly members only group chats uh, where we discuss topics like this and, and a lot more. Uh, you get access to the Penny Forward podcast a whole week before it's released to the general public. So you get to, to hear those early, uh, a weekly newsletter, bonus content. Uh, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one appointments for um, more complex things that you want to learn about uh, and other stuff to be added in the future. And it's likely that I have forgotten something um, in addition to the, the stuff I just mentioned. Because I always do. Uh, one of the things that I always forget is that uh, if you can't make the members only group chats live, we have them all uh, archived as as uh, recordings. So you can go back and, and browse through them and find out what we talked about and uh, listen to any one of them if the topic interests you uh, on your own time. So all of that is available for just $9 a month or $99 a year. And uh, all you got to do is go to pennyforward.com and find the link that says join Penny Forward and uh, you'll be able to, to sign up and do that. And, and again, uh, please join me in thanking Byron for taking his time to cover this call this month. Back to you, Byron. Excellent. Well, thank you everyone to, uh, thank you to everyone who supports Penny Forward uh, financially or by spreading the word about the uh, topics that we cover, the podcasts that we release, uh, the meetings uh, that we have, and the uh, members-only chats that we conduct. Um, you being there 
and uh, being another name in the Zoom room or being another name, you know, in the Facebook group is um, it's encouraging to us. It makes us want to keep going. Um, so please feel free to uh, spread the word to all of your social media and IRL friends about Penny Forward and uh, our mission and what we do. And uh, thanks again, everyone, for showing up tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream to Facebook and YouTube, and then I will shortly after uh, end the Zoom room. So let's go ahead and do that.